This is the story, Tuesday Takes Me There, by Luis Carlos Montalban. Tuesday Takes Me There, The Healing Journey of a Veteran and His Service Dog, by Luis Carlos Montalban. Rise and shine, it's a traveling day. We have to say goodbye to Mike, who let us stay with him last night. Like Lewis, Mike is a military veteran. They both fought in the Iraq War. In the war, Lewis saw and felt a lot of pain. This caused a condition called PTSD. It was hard for Lewis to live a normal life with PTSD, so he was matched with me, Tuesday. I'm a service dog. Lewis is better now but it's still hard for him to deal with strange places and crowds. So when we travel, we try to stay with friends like Mike because they understand us and we love them. Veterans are our family. Staying with Mike was great, but it's time to go. We have some place to be tonight. So I give Mike a hug and then Lewis and I are off on a journey. Walking on our own six feet, or seven if you count Lewis's cane. No need to hurry, Tuesday, Lewis says, as I walk exactly beside him to help him balance. We're taking the ferry. Awesome. What's a ferry? Lewis laughs. The big orange boat is a ferry. Can you see it? The Staten Island Ferry travels between Staten Island and Manhattan. A ferry boat, a ferry boat. Look at all these other boats. A tourist boat, a coast guard boat, a tugboat, a fire boat, and a statue boat too. She's beautiful. What is her name? The Statue of Liberty was a gift of friendship from France to the United States in 1886. Look Tuesday, it's Manhattan. So many tall buildings, a few small buildings, and one that's taller than them all. Let's go there. The bus is so slow. Come on, come on. Wow, that's the tallest building I have ever seen. It's 94 floors tall. Lewis touches the names on the wall in front of me. It's a memorial wall with a pool of water in the middle. Triumph can grow from tragedy, Lewis says. Then he smiles. You want to see it from another view? The Freedom Tower stands near the September 11th memorial on the ground that was part of the World Trade Center. It is the sixth tallest building in the world. Liftoff. Dog in a helicopter, dog in a helicopter, and there it is, Freedom Tower. It is a beacon of hope, Lewis says. Let's, there's Lady Liberty too. Let's see, helicopter, boat, bus, feet, sky, water, pause, street. How else can we travel? How about <gasps> underground? A subway is a train that runs underground. This one takes us through a tunnel. Stay calm, Lewis. I'm always here for you. And there's love at the other end of this ride. See, I told you. Love Sculpture by Robert Indiana on 54th Street in Manhattan is one of the most photographed sites in New York City. Now on to Central Park, where we meet a carriage horse named Bruno. Can we ride with him? Of course we can. Thanks, Bruno, from one hard-working animal to another. We traveled so many ways so far. Boat, bus, horse, helicopter, and a subway car. But we still haven't left New York City. And it's so crowded. Now Lewis really needs me. His PTSD makes him nervous around strangers so when we're on a busy street, I stay in front to clear the way. We made it. High pause. 
Penn Station is the busiest transport center in the United States. It serves more than 600,000 travelers a day. That's more than 2.13 million a year. As we walk down the stairs, Lewis holds a handle on my harness. It helps to keep him steady. While on our journey, I'm always ready. Make way, service dog coming through. We find our seat on the Amtrak train. Lewis makes a comfy place for me. I did a good job taking care of him, so he takes care of me. It's his way of showing he loves me. I put my paw on his foot to tell him I love him too. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're here, but where is here? We're at Union Station, the main train station in Washington, D.C. Tuesday, do you want to visit a friend? Yeah. In 1903, President Theodore Roosevelt signed an act to provide Union Railroad Station in the District of Columbia. Union Station opened in 1907. We walk to the United States Capitol building. We visit Senator Al Franken. In 2009, we met Al when Lewis and I helped him and Senator Johnny Isakinson pass a law to partner more service dogs with veterans. Thanks, Al. I love you too, but we can't stay. We have a lot to see and do. By our six feet and by pedicab, it's a pedaling taxi cab. Wow, that's a cool building. The Washington Monument is both the world's tallest stone structure and the world's tallest obelisk, standing 554 feet, 7 and 1 32nd inches tall. Then we travel by wooden horse, or is it by dragon? Hey man, this thing keeps going round and round. Okay, you're right, let's rest. It's been a busy day. We've traveled by boat, bus, Bruno, and merry-go-round, by subway, helicopter, pedal man, and train. We've walked for miles, and we're still not there. What's left to take? Airplanes, airplanes, giant airplanes. Can you see us? We're so small. Even a spaceship that landed on the moon. Commander Tuesday to ground control. Come in, ground control. The Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum holds the largest collection of historic aircraft and spacecraft in the world, including the Wright Flyer, the first airplane. The Wright brothers flew it 120 feet in 1903. It's getting late. The mission waits, but Lewis wants to make an important stop. So, we take a double-decker bus. The Jefferson Memorial honors Thomas Jefferson. He wrote the Declaration of Independence and was also the third president of the United States. We make an important stop to a famous cemetery. We want to pay respect to those who served and died in war. Some died in Iraq, where Lewis was wounded. Some died 200 years ago. But they are all veterans, so they are all our pack. That's dog speak for family. Praying with Lewis, I feel his heart and share what's inside. Sadness, honor, love, and pride. The Arlington National Cemetery is the nation's honored resting place for veterans. The first burial took place on May 13, 1864, during the Civil War. Now it's time for our last ride, a red convertible. I wish I could drive. We cross a bridge into the countryside. We're in a hurry, but there's always time. Lois Station Covered Bridge in Thurmont, Maryland was built in 1848. Covered bridges were designed to protect the wooden structures from the weather. To Trump, through the flowers and splash in the water. And, oh wait, the mission I almost forgot. There's a reason we took a bus, a boat, a car, a train, a horse, 
a pedally man, a double-decker bus, a merry-go-round, a subway, a helicopter, an almost plane, a rocket in my dreams, and our own six feet. It's the most important reason of all, because we're going to the more, most important place of all. A local library, where we see the smiling faces of friends like you. A sigh, a gasp, a hug at last. We've journeyed together, our friendships forever. A gentle squeeze, smiles that please, happiness true. I hug you too. Tuesday Takes Me There is dedicated to the many teachers and librarians who give of themselves day after day and year after year. It is they who open the doorways of learning and dreaming for us all. We are all on a journey. As you travel your path, we wish for you this ancient Irish blessing. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. With blessings and furry hugs, Lewis and Tuesday.